This tutorial will show how to create foundations and e-tabs and then send them out for analysis and design in the SAFE program. We will start with a model of a three-story concrete building containing elevator core walls, assorted perimeter shear walls, and concrete columns. The foundation will consist of a combination of mat, continuous, and spread footings. Change our view to two windows and set the plan view to the base level, which is the foundation level. Next, define the slab properties for the foundation objects. The first one will be called mat and will be 36 inches thick. We will include thick plate behavior to account for shear deformation. The second slab property we will add will be called FTG for footing and it will be 18 inches thick but will not use the thick plate option. Next we will draw the L-shaped mat object using the draw areas command. Once the object is drawn, select the object and go to the Edit, Expand Areas command to increase the mat size by 36 inches to properly account for the column and wall dimensions. Next, draw the continuous footing using the Draw Rectangular Area command and select the FTG property. This footing will support three columns. Last, create the spread footings by explicitly defining their size as 50 inches square and simply clicking on the three remaining columns. The model is now complete. A quick check of the load cases shows that we have dead, live, and static earthquake in the X and Y directions. We are now ready to run the analysis. We run the analysis in E-tabs to ensure that all the loads are properly accounted for on the foundation. Once the analysis is complete, the foundation model and loads may be exported to SAFE. For this example, we wish to export the base or foundation level and we will send out the floor loads and loads from above. The third option is typically used for suspended slabs. We are now ready to import the model into the SAFE program. Once the SAFE program is running, we may import the foundation file created by eTabs. Turn on the Fill option so that we may better see the foundation objects. The next step is to assign soil supports. We will assign the same support to both the mat and the footings, though SAFE allows you to vary the moduli by region. With the soil support in place, we are ready to run the analysis. When the analysis is complete, the deformed shape is displayed. 
We may also display member forces, such as shares. The final step is to start the design. When complete, the reinforcing in the X direction is displayed. Y direction reinforcing may also be shown. And moving the cursor over the model will show the required reinforcing at any location. The information displayed graphically is also available in tabular format. This concludes this tutorial.